Uh, today I want to demonstrate how to calculate a cube as a NURBS and uh, how to modify the surface of the cube. Uh, I start with the script. In the script I load the spreadsheet lib. I have put the script into the NURBS workbench already so I can load all functions from there and what I do first is I create the cube as uh, a numpy array with 11 points in each direction with the factor of 100 uh, here I get a cube with length 1000 millimeters and the next step is that I can add some modification on the surface and what I do is I put some noise on it. That means some soft modification of each of these poles. Then I calculate some inner slices of the cube. We can see a cube as a grid a three-dimensional grid and I calculate the inner faces and the next step is I calculate the border faces these faces I need to create the solid the shell and the solid I select all these border faces here in the variable rs and then uh, common procedure, I create a shell, I create a solid, I make some, I make all a little bit nicer and at the end I calculate um, or I, I visualize the set of the poles, not only the outer poles which I use for the solid but also the inner poles for the inner faces and I calculate the volume and the area. So, okay. Uh, I put my script onto my website and everybody can do this uh, by himself. Uh, let's see what is the result. The result uh, of the shell is this cube with the modifications and we see here all the poles, the outer poles. These are the faces, all of these faces are NURBS, uh, that means B splines or faces. And we can look inside the cube. Okay. Um, what is the next? Let's look at the dependency graph. We have uh, the solid. The solid is the basic modified cube. And then I have done some tests or uh, whether I can post process uh, this solid. I have created a cube and then there is a cut of the solid and the cube. And the next test is to subtract a cylinder. And we get this result. And now a cone. Then we have that one. And then again a sphere. So that means I can uh, do some Boolean operations on my cube and now I can check the quality of this one
and I see there is no error, everything works fine. Okay. I hide it again. Um, I have done a res this is the resulting cube and this is one with some transparency so we can look into our uh, model and we see all the cuts. I also have calculated uh, oh, sorry, I have calculated the border faces and the inner faces. Let's look at the inner faces. The inner faces are built from slices of the poles and I have added some noise not only to the outer skin but also to the inner skin and so I got this figure and now I can go inside I select some of this so faces and so I can go into it and I see these all are nerves and it's also possible to use the inner faces to create holes into our uh, cube so at last I want to demonstrate uh, that I can also check the quality of my cube. I can say I want to know the volume of it and you see the age length of the basic cube is 1000 and using this random modification the volume is still 1000 uh, in the third power and we also can calculate the area. We have six uh, faces. So and that means that the, the result is nearly uh, the cube. 